This episode is sponsored by Blue Maho Capital. Moving the Caribbean forward. Wagwan, this is Stacey McKenzie, and you are in tune to Reasonings with Odessa. Check it. All right, guys. So this is Reasonings with me, of course, Odessa. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy to have my girl, Stacey <laughs> McKenzie. Stacey, supermodel, philanthropist, actress. <laughs> what else can I say? You know, the one thing that you don't do is sing. No, we can't DJ though. Oh God. <laughs> so you're your Jane of all trades. Stacey, oh my God, no, no. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome to Reason. I oh uh, I'm so happy in a fire. I know it's COVID mm-hmm. and all those things. Oh, wait, work. Wait, oh yeah, we can't do that, right? Okay. No, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> We're good, we're clean. We're good, we clean, we sprayed up and right? everything. So, Stacey, mm. you know how long I try to get you Miss to do this something? Miss Sam, how long One year? Lord Jesus, about a year. Terrible, about right? About a year, about a year, about a year. But, 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 but you've yeah. been very, very busy. But, yeah. Very, yeah. very busy. Yeah. How's COVID been you treating too, you? You too, you've been busy too. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but, how's, how's COVID treating me? Yeah. Um, you know what? Fine, I mean, we're, you know, I'm happy that me, my family, my friends, we're all healthy. Um, we're all safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and um, yeah, and that's the most important thing. Like you know, we're alive. Yeah. So um, so it's it's definitely been fine, but um, you know, I know people that you know it's not so fine, and it's mm-hmm. had issues with it, of course, and you know, maybe have uh, contracted it or have family members or friends that have contracted it. So you know, so that's not. You know the best, um, but in general, just me and my family, and my friends were mm-hmm. good. Thank God, yeah. Give thanks, yeah. give yeah. thanks. So listen, we met. It was Sashi, Sashi, two thousand and one, right? And Stacy was like the big model. I'm still and we big are, model. and she still is a big model. But you know what I mean, like yes, yeah. When you walked into that room, and I was with <laughs> Kevin Lee. Kevin. I don't know if Claudette was there with us at the time, yes, but it was me. Was, oh, he, yeah, maybe, yeah. I don't know if she was. I don't know. I can't remember. It was me and Kevin. And you just came up to him and you were like, are you named Kevin Lee? <laughs> and Kevin just stood there like... <laughs> In his mind, he's like, that's Stacey McKenzie, the model. <laughs> she, she know me? And I was like, yeah, mama, love you, mama, love you, right, 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 right. And from that, we just, all of us, like, Wait. between all of us, we clicked and we, we just became friends and we've always kept in contact with each other. Yeah. But a lot of people don't really know. They know you as Stacey McKenzie, supermodel from Canada, even though you're Jamaican. Not Jamaican, from Jamaica. But a lot of people never know, so really, really... Yard, yard, yard. Yeah, I mean, I really know why they don't know because I always make it very, very clear. Yeah. Say, how yard we come from? Even when they're foreign. I mean, when we first yeah. moved to Canada, what them do? They put me in the ESL class because them claim say, we don't speak proper English <laughs> and them foolishness there. Really? Right? Yeah. Yeah, but I understand. Like it's it's interesting because a lot of people a lot of people didn't realize that say I'm Jamaican. But like I was saying, mm-hmm. I'm I've always been very vocal about a Jamaican. I come from yeah, yeah, the number mm-hmm. one. You know, master like when I forget where I come mm-hmm. from. And you know, my mother always instilled that in me too. Like when, when she moved us to Canada, you know, she's always like you know remind me like you know like don't forget where you come from. Mm-hmm. So which is great, you know. What um, age did you that. move to Canada? Well, she wanted us to move to Canada to have a better life. Life, right um in terms of like you know for her to get work and all of that good stuff right so that's why we moved which is there. a normal which, which is, is a normal, normal thing. thing but what age did you move from and you view 13 wow yeah, yeah. so you you it lived a shock yeah so you moved from where did you move from where's your origins in kingston in like kingston Alman- oh no i was born in almanto yeah right um slapping road Big up yourself. Yep. Big up to all the slide by the road, massive. Bro, bro. <laughs> yeah. Central <laughs> Branch Allied School. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it like growing up in Jamaica between that time? What was it like for you as a youth, as a young girl? You know up? what? I loved being home. I mean, I love being a, being a Jamaican. Mm-hmm. Growing up here, um, it had its good and it had its bad. As usual. The bad part for me was because I was so different looking. Mm. You know, people always make fun of me and call me the typical dundu, some yeah. mangoes, a yellow one, that kind of thing. So that wasn't nice. That's hard. Right? So that part was hard. But 
Other than that, I mean, I yeah, like no one and I said Jamaica mm-hmm. people, all people. Mm-hmm. Us other people like we're just very outgoing, very fun, very um, you know, very talented. Yeah. Right? Um, you know, very boisterous, like, you know, joyful, like you know what I'm saying? So the food bad, the food wicked, you know no, what I'm saying? Pork. You know, the, the food good, you know what I'm saying? Like we don't for dress, we don't for care of ourselves. Swagger. You know, like even just for walking a certain neighborhood, like if you go uptown, you know, uptown look nice if you're there downtown, even downtown like have its qualities as well. Yeah. So, you know, it's just just a different vibe. So, so for me, it was like you know, um, Jamaica is heaven for me. Yeah, and it's always been. But the bad part was just you know being you know made fun of a lot, right? And that's hard. I didn't like that. But what well, I think for me too it was more so harder um, that it was like when it came from family. Strange has been in my mind so much, even though it still will hurt a bit. But your own you know, family. But when it comes from own family, yeah, that never nice. Yeah. How yeah. so? We we're gonna go a little bit further into what how you develop that and and the whole camp and everything like yeah. that. But we want to know how Stacy McKenzie went from the girl growing up in 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 slight from Slipen Road to walking for first from Almanton, Almanton, right? Almanton and Slip, yeah. yeah. To walking the catwalk for John Paul Gaultier. <laughs> So how so how did that happen? How did you meet Jean Paul Gaultier? How did you get to Paris? Yeah, right, <laughs> right. All that all that happened just like all, all God's doing. You know what I mean? Like um, for, I originally wanted to be a doctor, right? Okay. Um, and then when that didn't make out, um, uh, what happened? Um, my sister came to visit and she brought a magazine. And then another magazine was to go to another magazine. And I said, "What are you tell? I want to look." Weird like me, yeah. Like, you know? like you look, you know, like bad, like yeah. Like, call me, uh, uh, like you know, like a dude looks like yeah. Because right? because he white, hair. white hair, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> so I was like, you know, who's that? And then my final says a fashion designer, and you know, the person I was in the picture with him, like you know, what is modeling for a show? So I'm like, model. So I'm like, that's what my final said. Model, you know, like modeling is a job, yeah, it's a career as well. Cause me never didn't know that. <laughs> so I'm like, modeling is a is a career. So like, me never know that. Me can't model. Cause me always look good in my church clothes. Yeah. Clothes. <laughs> so, me and my took, right? so it was from there that's how you know I was like I wanted to be a model. Yeah. So I moved by Canada now. Um like here, I mean there wasn't there was no agencies at the Not time. Not at that time. Right? So I'm used to I don't know post post. No, there was no agent. No. Wow. There was nothing with modeling here at that time. Um, maybe before then, because like Grace Jones did a little bit of stuff here, I think, and um there was another uh, um uh the the Marley's um mom. Arita? No, no. Oh no, no, Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. I think she did something. To, yeah. This world from yeah. this world thing. But um, yeah, there was no. I didn't know of any. We didn't hear of any modeling. No. Like, yeah, we, we thought it was like a like a thing, you know. <laughs> we had beauty pageants. Right, beauty pageants, but, but we didn't modeling, have any like, modeling high fashion, agencies. commercial. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. So um, you know, I was uh. Uh, I, so when I was here, I was like, all right, I'm going to teach myself how to walk. But find out what we need for turning up to become a model. So I said, I'm going to teach myself how to walk what? and how to take pictures. Yeah. So how to take pictures, we used to look at my dresser mirror. I used to emulate different characters, like sad faces, happy faces, and, and you know, like, you know, um, distressed faces, whatever. So you were serious. I, oh, I was serious. <laughs> and I would emulate those those faces and, you know, and do those characters. And that's how I taught myself how to pose. And then how to walk, I used to take my mom's shoes, put them on my school bag and bring her to school. And I used to change, change my shoes. And that's how I learned how to walk in a high Wow. Yeah, so I didn't have anything much to go on other than that. And then from there, I went to, when we, when we go to Canada now, we we'll find out so about modeling schools. Hey, wow. We still never know about agencies. We we'll find out about schools through the newspaper. We we'll find out about the schools. <laughs> so, so, we well, we'll convinced somebody that someone wants to do it out of modeling school. Cause she wasn't in the shit. Like, mother, your mother, prostitution. Hey girl, you know how I'm gonna have Because you're Christian. Right? right? She's like, no, no, no. I didn't have to doctor, lawyer, nurse, or one of them. None of them a bad amount. But anyways, we convinced her. So uh, she said, all right. So she said, we're going to school. But she said, we're going to school now. No matter how fifteen hundred dollars uh, and we are Jamaican. Can you imagine your mother said, what? My mom was like, fifty four. Right? <laughs> so it, oh it's you know, and it, it's a three month course, whatever. So we just tell my mother for like a question on the money, which she really she yeah. did. And you know, um, and then that's how we got into school on fifty dollars. Wow. And what I did was when I got into school, I, I observed and watched how what they did in the school, how they taught the, the girls and boys and all that stuff. And that's how I, you know, you know, I learned how to, 
you know, like, you know, about the business side of it, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, it's cool. But then we find out about agency. Mm-hmm. And then it was, and then I realized, okay, the agency is a more legit one, mm-hmm. right? Okay, okay. So we just tell my mother, pay $50. I'm going to school for about a month and a half. And then we left. The pay the rest You're of the so money, smart. Right? You're so smart for <laughs> and a bit. Try to go get an agency, right? <laughs> and then we never, you know, I didn't get an agency. And we try a lot in Canada. And nobody never wanted me because I said that I was too different looking. Mm-hmm. And there's not a market for me. Right. right. But then my final born in New York. Yeah. So when I was like 15, um, when I was 15, this guy, no, before the, I met the guy, this agent, aspiring agent, um, I took a bus, a Greyhound bus to New York. Wow. And I spent the day there and I, I, I made a list of all, what I used to do was I, I would make a list of all the agencies and went to go see all the agencies. And all the big agencies, you have to have somebody like that was like, you know, known or whatever or reputable that mm-hmm. will contact on your behalf mm-hmm. and get an appointment for you. Me and I'm that kind of person. So me would just change up my advice and pretend to be an agent from Jamaica <laughs> call me for space McKenzie. So that my dog. And I got to see like elite um um four all the top agencies I got to see plus all the other agencies as well. But they all said no. So then we'll come back to Canada now and then when I was like about fifteen I ended up meeting this aspiring agent guy and he was like um he was like you know, he came up to me, I was in a club, don't ask me what I was doing. In <laughs> but he called to me and he was like, uh, have you ever thought about being a model? I'm like, my youth and assistant a model already. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm going to New York and I'm taking, uh, you know, some girls with me to get it signed. I'm like, I'm coming with you. Wow. And he was like, how old are you? I'm like, 15, but it's okay. I'm coming with you. Wow. He's like, I have to speak to your mom. I'm like, she'll all right. Yeah. Me, I'll come with you. <laughs> One day, me, I'll come with you. You just forward. I'm, 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 I'm not even know we get for gum. Come, no, so I'm not going to tell my brother. Yeah. Sorry, mom. <laughs> I'm going to lie. I'm going with him for the day. And all that ages to them, I said, no. And then one agency now she said, the only one I'm interested in is me. So she put up on me now. Could you have the look? He thinks he never told big mother. Yeah. You know, one mother thought my big one mother money or whatever. She told me for go pack my bags and come back to, to New York. Me come back to Canada, drop out of school and go. But I'm going to New York. No man look at me. The same woman who tell me such a woman. Pass me, pass walk, pass me. So I'm going to call her. Miss so and so. And she was like, who? I'm like, I'm the girl who said Stacy McKenzie. You told me to go pack my bags and come back from Canada. She's like, oh, I'm not interested. <gasps> yep. I walk off. Yep. How did that make you? So how did you feel? Like you fifteen? You don't say, you don't say well, I'm a you football. You never mind. No, but well, you're ball. fifteen. Yeah, it so was. Of course, your ball. By the way, Stacy love ball. No, I'm saying I don't make my ball right yeah, now. No, that's it. So why you want me to drink somewhere? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I have drinks. You know drink. for drink. I have drinks. <laughs> no, but she. So yo, my, my ball. Fifteen no, my years ball. old. Me a ball. 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 I don't know nobody, like, you know, and um, I don't have nobody, I don't have no family, when I know I'm there, I don't have no friends, so I'm just like, we're stuck, you know, because I'm going to drop out of school. My mother ended up kicking me out too. Wow. Because she was upset that I was dropping out of school yeah. to pursue modeling, and right. she gave me that, um, you know, right to do so, right? I took it upon myself, so she said, all right, go on, let's you see how you Come on. Go on, go to business, right? Go on, go, go on, go to business then. So I, I didn't have nowhere to go. It was, it was... That was... It was wow. tough, it was tough. And then, um, you know, so, you have a ball and all. No, don't cry. Because I ain't got enough tissues for you. <laughs> so, um, we just say, you know, we'll just try one more time. So, we have a list of my oldest from before. I'm going to go back and say all of them again. Yeah. And I want to say elite now. Um, I'm going to go back to elite before, you know, and and I'm just saying no. But this time when I'm going to go, a lady was there. And she was like, who are you? Wow, you'd be a great model. I'm like, I know, I am already. Come <laughs> sign me. And, I, and then she was like, wow, you know, you're so cool looking. I'm like, really? Wow, I'm like, hey, that's right, the I'm first like, person. First person. I was like, hey, right, I'm in. okay, <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going to be in. And then she said, okay, let me see what I could do. And she went to go talk to the owner. The owner was not having it. And she came back and then um, she was like, you have, you have three months. She's like, we got three months. To get She's you. like, you got to prove yourself. And she goes, and if you don't prove yourself and do good, I'm out of a job too. Wow. So she was like, go, go. She told me the same thing. Forgot pop my bags and then my girl, my bag. But they're right here. <laughs> 
and she sent me to the place. And um, anyway, long story short, you know, the uh, modeling house. Uh, house, yeah. Oh, so that that does exist. For and me. then yeah, and then I was there for like about a month, and we realized I'm too young for there by myself because certain things that happen that we never well, agreed with. Right, yeah. yeah, and I was just like, no. So my mother raised me like, you know, I'm a, a Christian. Queen and a queen. She raised me, you know, yeah. a certain way and them things. Like, no, we can't do around them things there. So I check myself. We say, no, I'm gonna go back on my mother bigger for bigger for take me home. Mm-hmm. And I need to go back to school. Mm-hmm. I get my mind get, get your mind my right. education, get my mind right once I'm once I'm more mature, then I could go, go back and, and go for it again. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did. I went back home. You know, um I was embarrassed to go back to high school, so I went to I took like night classes. Mm-hmm. You know, like got my um well, I was supposed to get my diploma. I ended up getting it later. Mm-hmm. Um and then uh and then from there, um I oh and I saved some money. I worked like a couple of jobs, saved some money, and I was like, I'm going to France, I'm going to Paris, I'm going to fashion capital of the world that's where my career is going to start that's where I'm going I'm going to try there and see what happens and that's what happened and I went there and um, all the agencies said no and then um, it just so happened that this girl that I met she introduced me to somebody who introduced me to a small agency and that guy was like let me give you a try and when he, he's like the first appointment he sent me to was Gautier but, wow and I didn't look know at that, that like just the whole circle and yeah. uh, when I went to see Gautier um, I didn't know I was actually seeing meeting him and it was a casting and it was like hun- like hundreds of models and Gautier was the shit at that yeah. time oh it still is and still yeah, is yeah, the shit yeah. to me and you yeah, but, but yeah it oh, was yeah. all about Go- all about all about yeah and um, it was I did not know seeing him but when I when I went to go up to present myself, that's when I first saw him. I realized that's what I'm seeing. But so far, I didn't have a breakdown because <laughs> up to this day, everything about it like, why? It's, it's, it's God's doing this thing, yeah. man. Because it, like, Odessa, we didn't, we didn't always have this feeling mm-hmm. from a final about Moglin. Say, Odessa, my belong. That's your destiny. And that, for some reason, it just did in my spirit. Mm. Say, say, that's my thing mm-hmm. and that's what I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. And I should just keep trying and not give up on it. Wow. And you know, and I'm, I'm really happy to so the most I give me that strength because there's enough times when we don't want to give up on it. Enough times. Enough times when we don't want to And this it. is why your story has to be told. <laughs> are you are you still going to be working on this movie? We're going to pause for a close. Ah, sorry. I have to <laughs> pause for a close. Yeah. Can I forget? I see. Your story is like, they always say, you know, rags to riches, but even though you never grew up really with rags, you understand mm. me? But it's a story of triumph. And you, are you still going to be working on this movie that you, about oh, yeah. your life? Oh, yeah. It's, oh, and yeah. it's, it's still, going it's to still happen. happening. I can't get too much into it, but mm-hmm. it's definitely still happening. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who do you think, like, who do you think that would play me? you? You know what? That's such a hard... I don't know. Because there's not a lot of women that have your face. No, but but you know what, though? The thing about an actor as well, too, they have to be able to transform. And I'm after Jamaican. No, but not... It would be great if they're Jamaican. For sure. Well, we like, I would have, love that. You can't no. have them without a little Jamaican no, accent. No, no, no. They have to... I would love for them to be... A Jamaican Oh, girl. I would love. Like, whoever plays my younger me, you know... Uh, Teenage me, uh, an older me, has to be Jamaican, right? I would love, yeah, right. Um, but I know that, like, even because they've fought a couple girls that look like me and all of that, but it's still, it's still, they still have to be able to have that energy and attitude mm-hmm. that I have as well, mm-hmm. or portray that, mm-hmm. right? So, but I was thinking, I'm like, who? I don't, I don't know. I'm like, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know who could like I'm like this. I was like, who, who I'm thinking of, I'm like, I don't think she could really transform into me like Viola Davis. <laughs> I don't think she could. I'm like, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Is it possible? You know what I mean? But uh, I, I I don't know. Wow. Uh, yeah, so casting is going to be very, very, very hard. Yeah, but I think it's going to happen, though. Yeah. I think it's going to happen, you know? Um, I would really, really hope and wish and pray that it's definitely a Jamaican girl. Yeah. Right? It would be really nice, um, you know, to have one of my own. Like yeah. Our own play. How about somebody you know new? We have another, yeah. we have a oh, next Stacey, oh, we have a next one. Because I'm all about, yeah. as well, so I'm all about, like, um, not only just my people, but also 
you know, people that, you know, like are tr- up and coming, mm-hmm. right? Because I know what it feels like mm-hmm. to be on that end where, mm-hmm. and you know what it feel, mm-hmm. feels like too, mm-hmm. to not have that, you know, to be starting out mm-hmm. and not having that support. I build where I build right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So I, I would love, I would love for it to be. What do you say to young girls that, are like you and have had your upbringing, whether you're 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 a fair skin, you they look like you. Because remember, not all so quote unquote light skins, you are like a red ebo. Yeah. From the Red yeah. Ibu tribe in Africa. Oh, really? They look like you, same type of hair, oh, same wow. look, everything. So, you know, you have the the mixed chick, yeah. light skin, yeah. and then you have the black, which is what you are. Yeah. You understand me? And then you have dark skinned girls that are told that they're ugly yeah. all of their life. Yeah. What do you have to say to to them? How because you're working with the walk camp yeah. and you're mentoring yeah, young girls. Camp. Yeah, I love my camp. And I love it. What is it that you talk? To, what do you? What is it that you tell these well, young girls? Well, that, I tell them it's very important for them to love who they are, mm-hmm. love themselves first and foremost. Because if you don't love you, mm-hmm. right? If you are not, if you don't have a strong sense of self, if you don't have that love for yourself, right? then people is going to be able to walk all over you and do whatever they want with Mm -hmm. you, right? You know what I'm saying? But you need to love who you are first and foremost. Mm -hmm. You need to own who you are, right? You need to understand that the most I made you, right? I made one of you. I made you unique. Right? I made you unique, right? Mm -hmm. We all have flaws. Every one of us in this world has has flaws. No matter how much you see them one day, I do plastic surgery, I try to make them face look extra, um, you know, like no wrinkles and things, right? Or, you know, they're about to be gone and things. (laughs) Trust and believe like you know what I said yeah. they're still not perfect and right. I will never be perfect right I'm also telling them to because the majority of my girls mm-hmm. uh, especially in Jamaica they're all black, of course always black girl, mm-hmm. little girls in Canada it's predominantly black little girls mm-hmm. as well too especially our black little girls but make sure I tell them to them are God's people and I'm free and then to recognize that I know that say so listen you are God's people Right, you are God's child. Right, ones. you are the chosen mm. one. Exactly. Right. I tell. I, I go out every day. I know that because I make know it. That. They don't. I make it my duty that. every time I see a little black girl. I tell them that they're beautiful. Yeah. I and it's not hue. It could be a little light skin girl. It could be. But I still tell every little black girl yeah, you're beautiful. that you are beautiful. Yeah. Look at your hair. Look at your yep. skin. Look at your freckles. Look yeah. at. And I make them feel good for that. Yep. You know, so don't let her. nobody tell you yeah, anything otherwise. otherwise. Yeah, don't let no one tell you otherwise. Always remember, right? remember that. Remember, always remember what I told you. That yeah. lady that was randomly just, you know, Walking and that, that makes a difference. Like a I feel huge like I difference. Want to cry. You know, it does make a huge Ooh. difference. It really does. See, I like, feel you like I'm going to cry. <laughs> cry, man. Cry. Get it together. No, let it out. You're yeah, we're reasoning. Yeah, man. Without but, uh, alcohol. Right? <laughs> You're crying. Could you imagine if we had alcohol? If she had alcohol, she wouldn't be crying. Oh, my God. This, be no, laughing. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd be bo- uh, even more. But, um, but um, No, but it's good that you do that. And it's very important for us to do that as well, too, because mm. you never know what that person is going through. Mm. Right, I've had numerous times where I've told you know from a child to a, an adult, you know, wow, you're gorgeous, wow, you're beautiful, and the person is like, what, really? You think so? Like, oh my gosh, you don't understand how much you made my like week because I've been feeling so down about myself. You never know what the person is going through, and every one of us go through something. But for my for my little girls, I always tell them like, listen, come on, love yourself first and foremost. And even if I'm like, and I always remind them to, I tell them to, listen, there's always gonna be people that like you, love you, and hate you no matter what. You can't please people. You're not here to please people. That's right. The only person you're here to please is God. That's right. Nobody else but God. That's right. I am mother. Your father, okay. <laughs> I don't know, the piercer go get my left to me. No, but, God, but, you have to, but God right? comes first. God comes first. You know what I mean? I said, yeah. like, and, I, and I'm like, but you know, if anybody I tell you say you're, you know you're less than who you are, right? Don't listen to that. And don't, yeah, yeah. Don't listen. No, say you're God's chosen child, mm-hmm. right? You're God's chosen people. The camp, the walk camp. Tell us about this because I'm I'm a part of it. <laughs> yes, and you are. Oh, I had mentors. such a good. I'm just so I excited. love mentoring kids oh. and the young girls especially. And I was even on like a, a, a live last night talking to one of my sisterings about how we need to, as Black women, to mentor our young girls yes, a lot do. more and, and boys. More, and, boys. and the boys. Well, I sit down on the corner and I have my little reasonings with the youth them, and I, yeah. I like to talk to the boys and the see where their headspace is yeah. as well. So 
whoop, tell um, us, tell us about it. Tell, tell, tell everybody a little. Oh, bit so that. my walk camp is a camp that I started. Um, originally, it started. It, it, it came from my walk this way workshops. Mm -hmm. So that's my company where I train aspiring models mm -hmm. and established models as well of, of, of all aspects of the industry. But while I was doing my um, going around communities within certain neighborhoods, um, and I was like, you know, meeting with the youths in certain communities that I came from mm -hmm. that I grew up in, right? Um, I was told that nobody would come back and you know meet with them and like talk to them and, and this is in Canada this was in mean, Canada okay. first right um, this, this is what I, it started out there mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do a girls camp here mm -hmm. at home but mm -hmm. at the time it wasn't happening mm -hmm. I was trying to get the help and all of that and like the setup and you know if I'm not here you know it's yeah. a problem you know you know, what I'm yeah. so I'd have to be here right but um, it started off in Canada and um, I was like alright let me start it off there whatever then I have the opportunity to do it start off there go in certain communities with my with my fellow little black girls mm -hmm. right and like you know and just you know like make it happen so I was told by um, actually a little boy that nobody would ever come come and visit them nobody come wow. and, yeah and there were certain people that came from those communities that, that made it a name for themselves but they never came back and they never come back and come check for the youths and talk to the youths them so they were saying like you know it was the first time they were experiencing anything like this where you know someone like me come for, comes to them and check for them you know um, you know see whatever they need and them things eh? or just you know just even just to come talk to them even just to come reason with yeah. them yeah Right? So um, I sat there and I was like, it really brought tears to my eyes and hurt mm -hmm. in my heart because... That's well, money. Say, because there's so many of us that come from them places. Yeah, and from, like, from inner city you know, yeah, communities, like, from the ghetto. Really? Like, really? Or even real? from... Even some kids grew up rich and they still have... Friends, you know, Friends in the hood and all in that. In the hood. Right? Yeah. And, and they... Oh, they have issues. Yeah. Family. Yeah. So it was, it really broke my heart and I was like, you know what, we have to do something. So let's come from a spirit, like, we really, really, I feel like, you know, just start the camp. Even if we just, because originally I wanted to start at home first yeah. and bring it across the islands, mm -hmm. right? The Caribbean islands. Mm -hmm. But kick it off in Jamaica first. But when I, that wasn't working out yet. So we just start, start from where we can start from. Canada. Yeah. So we, so we just say, all right, I'm going to call all of my friends and we're in the industry. We're top of top. Yeah. And whoever we're in, whatever other, in their respective fields, let's reach out to them and let's ask them for donate a couple hours of their time. Mm -hmm. Come tell their story and also give the girls a hands on workshop mm -hmm. as to how to get into their industries mm -hmm. and respective fields. Mm -hmm. And that's how it all started. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, like the first, the first um, one I did, I mean, everybody that I called up, practically every one of them, you know, said came yes. through and said yes. And it was just like crazy, like back to back, showing up, like you know, mentors like Dina Pugliese, Tracy Moore, um, who are like you know, a TV hosts in Canada, yeah, yeah, right. Um, it was just a bit designer Sunny Fong. Sunny, this designer Sunny Fong literally brought materials like wow. tons of materials brought his team and had them like teach them how to sew oh. brought had even the mannequins it was crazy oh. right like, it was just, it was just the most beautiful thing and the girls were just ah oh. They were just like in heaven with it. Yeah. You know, it's to the point now where um, the, my first batch of girls, they're like 18 years old now, right? Because the girls are uh, 12 to 17, mm -hmm. 12 to 17. So the, the first set of girls are like 18, 19, 20 years old now. And they're like, um, they're calling me up to this day like, oh, so, you know, so uh, Miss Stacy, um, when can I come to the camp again? I'm like, well, yeah. you're over age. Okay, you're going to come. Well, can I come just hang with you? Yeah. 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 Which Aww. is great, you know? So, yeah. But it was even more rewarding when I brought it home. Yeah. Like, That's it was fun. very rewarding, you know, in a firing in Canada, but, you know, I understand. They don't we have really enough. They don't, yeah, we didn't have we enough. Don't of, we don't have enough of these no, in Jamaica. No, we don't. No. We don't. No. And those girls are just like, they're so... No, like just I, looking at the different personalities, I'm doing a flashback from last year, right? And the personalities of the girls, like there's some that just like social, like, shit, like you know, you know, and then there's some that are really talkative. You can see their faces intense, and then there's some that are just very shy and don't know what to do or what to talk oh, about. It's but just, you're just, I tell you, when I brought it, when you know, doing the camp home, you're like, 
it's I'm been the best. I'm looking forward to the next and, and having you like, I still thank you yeah. so much because no, you don't man. understand. And it's like, so, uh, Auntie Odessa, yeah, is she coming back? I'm and I'm coming. like, hold on a second, you are come back next year. Yeah, 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 ye
some of family them we up in a bush my auntie god bless her soul she dead now she was dead the other day recently uh. but god bless miss mama's soul miss mama you know she cooks she likes to have a stove she, we, every time stove. some cold stove every time sweetest we, food though every time I get her one, one foreign stove she fling it in her backyard she don't want a stove the food is sweet she, she squat oh, and eat you know squat and I cook I know one cooks oh, it's sick run dog Don't uh, she's stop. sick run down. I uh, don't believe for me. I might think that yeah. too, right? We say, we go right up for Miss Mama. We say, and uh, uh, this one I go, Miss Gina I go, I go right up for country with them. <laughs> no, sir, see, she can't say, 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 Good. Yeah, I'm just saying this is. Yes, <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm gonna stay or whatever. I see. Me, I want me to stay. We just make sure all the things. Yeah, we're good. As long as the port now going, that's yeah, all right. <laughs> Tell us about <laughs> fashion, like and Black Lives. Black Lives Matter is so important right now. So much mm, racism and certain things that are going on. That that's been going on in in fashion, but it's now being opened up because of Black Lives. How do you feel about the movement? It's been like certain little uh, changes, like Vogue. People are now calling out Anna Wintour um, for not hiring enough editors, for not hiring only, God bless our boy Edward in London, mm -hmm. but there's not enough Edwards. We need more Edwards, we need more writers, we need more of those people who are going to be doing it for the culture and promoting us as, mm -hmm. as, a, as a set of people that everybody's inspired from. Black culture, mm. basically. Uh, 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 the yeah. whole of fashion is, is, Music, is inspired, inspired by, by, by black, black culture. culture. What can be done in fashion that you want to see be moved forward for, well, for, for I black think it's, people? I think it's very important for um, the businesses, especially the brands, mm -hmm. to, um, you know, to hire more of us, mm -hmm. right? Of course, I mean, they don't. Okay, it took like whatever happened recently to... To, for them to like, you know, say, okay, let's hire, you know, more black people. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't have gone to that mm -hmm. lens. You know what I'm saying? The only one I it's, said we have is Edward. Yeah, it's, but it shouldn't <laughs> have gone to that lens because, yeah. like, uh, there's times when I've gone on, on shoots, a, a lot of shoots, and there's no hairdresser that could do my hair, mm -hmm. right? And the hairdresser that they get is definitely not a black person. Mm -hmm. and don't know, and, and, and they don't they, understand even, black hair. Even if they're not a black person, but you don't understand, you don't know how to deal with black, black hair, hair, right? But, um, but, uh, I think it's really important for the brands, mm -hmm. right, to really put on more of more of us, mm -hmm. right? Because we do. First of all, we make we are the ones that are spending the majority of the money, right? Giving your brand, you know, all them, you know, dollars mm -hmm. and making all them mm -hmm. millions and billions, mm -hmm. right? Um, that's number one, right? Mm -hmm. um, also, creative, creatively wise. Mm -hmm. Hello. We, we don't have any photographers, we, we, need more, we need more black yeah, photographers. Yeah, we need more black photographers, we need more black uh, makeup artists, mm -hmm. hairstylists, mm -hmm. right, behind uh, editors, right. Editors, editors, fashion and writers, editors, yeah. writers, mm -hmm. right, um, whatever, but we just, we definitely need more of that. You know it's a bigger, it's a bigger thing with what's really going on mm -hmm. as to why that, that mm -hmm. happens. I know when I first started out with modeling, right, mm -hmm. um, There used to be only like one, maybe two black girls, maybe two, okay, in magazines. Oh yes, if you see one, you're lucky. If we would be lucky to see one girl mm -hmm. in the magazines, mm -hmm. all right. And the reason why was because they uh, and I found out they said that um, uh, they can't have too much of us because it, like because then it would look, you know, it would look like it, it would it would take away from the magazine or look a certain way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And there's even certain times, like certain months, like they'll put a black girl on a cover. No, not certain months. One month out of the year. I think it's August, which is the, the least... Where the sales the, are. The sales. It's the least sales or something like that. One of the, Oh, yeah, I found that out. That was when I was first starting out, right? Um, there's only, like, one space for us, right? For one girl or one guy, right? So what happens is, because of that, um, a lot of the black girls and uh, uh, black models would, like, pretty much... We pretty much turn against each other because yeah. we start becoming competitive yeah. with one another, trying to vie for that the one spot. The real systematic racism oh, yeah. starts within yeah. it, yeah. Right? So, um, and and so divide that's the, and conquer. Right. Yeah. So that started like that, right? Um, before this whole, before, you know, the movement George happened. came along and the movement mm -hmm. came along and all of that, uh, I did notice there was a big change 
in terms of I start I started seeing a lot more black girls in mm -hmm. magazines. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you have too. Mm -hmm. And black guys and, mm -hmm. and brothers, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters in my big time. But where we make our money is advertorial campaigns, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what you guys um, need to know is in editorials, mm -hmm. we don't make no money. Models don't make money in editorial campaigns, right? That's just for press. That's just to get us our faces out there, mm -hmm. right? For us to get the advertorial campaigns and the big jobs that pay, right? So um, even then too, you, you, when I first started out, you, you never you never seen a black girl and black guy on a Fendi campaign, mm -hmm. Gucci campaign. Mm -hmm. And all Not that from homegirl, our right? sister. Like Nadine, Nadine did Gucci. And, and she was the only one. She was the first one and the only one. That, I haven't yeah. seen since. Yep. Yeah. Yep, you don't see Louis Vuitton. But like, as of lately, uh, before, actually right before the movement, mm -hmm. I started seeing a big change, right? Um, in terms of a lot more black models in these advertor yeah. advertorial campaigns, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Right? Okay, that's great. So they've definitely, I'm there's been up. a change, right? There's makeup that I still think that they need to be more behind the scenes. I still think that there needs to be more fashion editors, right? Um, black fashion editors, makeup artists, hairstylists. I think that that and the cosmetics company, all of that. Com I, I but the cosmetics business is also a big money business where you don't see as much, like, even when they put a token black girl in there, like in the ad campaign, yeah, she's not ending it, she's not the first face, and she's not the last face that you see. Yeah. She's the one in the middle that's just a flashback, like, oh, let me just fling her in. Oh, we, oh. yeah, when I look at the other, like that Maybelline or the other top, top uh, companies, okay, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. You are now like an ambassador for Mac. Um, I, I, for yeah, I just did a Mac campaign. So how yeah. is how was that with them? But the thing is you? also they did um, it was a campaign where it was like diversity on different oh, lengths. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. So yes, um, uh, there, there was me, another girl. There was an albino girl with dreads. You wow. saw her? Yeah. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> um, oh, how can I figure that out? Such a beauty. <laughs> Sweet out to me. Um, you know, and then there's a, you know, yeah, just the different types of people. Mm -hmm. But right? they need to do more that's but the just thing not is, diversity. Yeah, but this is my thing. Um, okay, what's going on now with the with the models, mm -hmm. right? When it comes to like, there's a lot more models on the forefront, but I hope it's not a trend. No, it can't be a trend. And we yeah, can't, it hope, we can't. Because usually it's a trend when they use a lot a lot of uh, black models. Usually it's or a trend for a couple color, of seasons. Or women of color, color. men of color. Yeah. It's usually for a, a certain amount of seasons mm -hmm. or a certain season, right? Um, it's it's been ongoing now for a couple of seasons now, which is great. Mm -hmm. So I'm watching it to see how you know. Mm -hmm. But we definitely need more of our people behind the scenes, like not Making just behind those the scenes decisions. because we're the ones who's yeah, yeah we're, we're the ones who make the models mm -hmm. and put you know even the clothing. Like we have so many amazing fashion designers. What's his name that you right? introduced me to? Carbito. Is, uh, is it Carbito? I can't remember his name again. Fashion designer. Yeah. I, I no, yeah, you, which you, one? Which one? you put me onto him and told me to follow this guy on Twitter. And I can't, not on Instagram, and I can't remember his name again. Oh, Pierre Moss. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. And yeah, he yeah. is so He's radical as oh, well yeah. and yeah. killing it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you know, love um, him. But we need like more, more of those black fashion designers. Yeah. Because, I mean, we have mad style. We are and, style. And, 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 and we are exactly. We are, we are swag. Style. We are style. Exactly. And we, we are style. You. We are style. Exactly. <laughs> and what I will say to as well to about our people, we need to work together, right? Because um, a lot more collaborations. We, not even just collaborations. We need to build with each other, right? You notice all of the other races them have them own thing going. Mm. China them work together. Indians. Indian them work together, mm -hmm. right? Jewish people them work mm -hmm. together, right? Even when they don't like each other. They must work together, mm -hmm. right? And they must build together. Mm -hmm. And they're building where they have, like, where everybody can eat mm -hmm. and, 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 and live and all of that, right? We need to do that as a, or, as a people. We need to do that as a people. Well, I think we are now seeing this a lot more because we have, in terms of black economy, because, again, it was the whole divide and conquer situation with us as black people. And now we have to start buying black, owning black, owning certain things that are like supermarkets, owning our own cosmetics, exactly. yeah. buying from our own people. And also we need and to get in a position, sort of, we need to get in a position as well too where it's like 
things like what happened to Georgia and, and all our brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. right? Those killings and all of them things. We need to get in a position where them things can't happen so easy like that and then get away with it. Or it can't happen where they get away with it. We need to be in a position I where... I think it is happening. Right? I think it, the movement is really moving. I think, no, but I think like... like like Because even what I've see, what I'm seeing too, which is pissing me off for a reason and I can talk about <laughs> it, it's pissing me off. Listen... We not we not have no time for a dance. Dance or dancing not gonna get to it. No, dancing no, no, not gonna no, get to no, nowhere. We're more scientists, we right? Need more we need to, those. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we need to like work with each other, build up, uh, build you know, build our communities, build up our you know, build up ourselves where we have that like you know those you know we 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 know our rights and we know how to you know make sure certain things are in place mm -hmm. where you know like people don't you know other people can't come in and just. You know, do whatever they feel like and, and, and treat us any which way and do whatever they want with us and get away with it. Mm. Right? Right? So we, we need to do that. Right? Like this dancing up thing or whatever. Like, it's, it's not one missing one. Challenges. Right? Stop the challenges no, and challenge yourself to no, support No, but, but your I dance. I, I, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll call it. We'll call it. Yeah, um, protest and a dance. <laughs> I stop on a dance and I, and I cock up button. I've up seen that. Like, I saw no, it's been a lot of that yeah, going on. Yeah. It's like, well, where's it, that going to get us? You always have a few poses, but we do, what we shouldn't be doing is promoting those imposters and those poses that's within what we're trying to do. Stop promoting them. I, I don't... I. Don't see those things on my timeline. I'm proof be gone. What, what happened? Promoting? I don't see those people on my timeline. I ignore those. Oh, okay. I okay. ignore yeah. those <laughs> and I focus on what the matter is at hand for what needs to be, what needs Let to change. Let me tell you something. We need to think about this too. Like, okay, a certain type of people, right? Mm -hmm. One major thing happened to them, which is a bad thing. And look, and up to this day, they still live off of the money they them get from that. Think about that. What we are doing? We are dancing the street. <laughs> no, for real though. No, one major thing happened to a certain type of people, mm -hmm. a certain group of people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about, right? Mm -hmm. One thing happened to them, which was very bad mm -hmm. and very uh, major, mm -hmm. right? And what did they do? They made sure they set up themselves, right? Where they are getting paid for, like, like you can't do nothing to them people there. Nobody can do anything to them people and get over it. And then I get money for life for the one thing happened for how long ago, from how long ago, right? Then I live, right? Then I live, them, great, them children, I live, them great grandchildren, them grandchildren, I live, them great great grandchildren, I live, and um, uh, on, onward for life, them set for life. Where we are though? Well, no, seriously though, oh, we are reason, where we are though? We are protests, okay, we're protesting. What is that, and then what now? Protests, but the protests have made movement and has made what is changes. The movement? Yeah, but, but protests I hope, I hope have I... made change because if without the protests, certain things in for civil rights and things for action would not be happening if people were not in the streets protesting now. And they, the thing is, is that the media hides certain protests that have been continuing and things that have been continuing going on. They're not showing us. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. The revolution is not going to be televised. It's on social media. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, okay. That's where, it, that's where so, it's at. So, like, like, so are we, are we getting compensated? Our communities are getting compensated? Com we don't, well, it's not time for, well, I, if there, there, things are going to take time. No, them it, things it, are going to take happen, time. No, like, Those gonna things are going to take, happen, it's just no. like JPS trying to comp <laughs> compensate us right now in Jamaica. <laughs> with their teeth in. But you know what? We're going to have to end this. Because it's, it's about to go yeah. totally. <laughs> we, <laughs> I'm ready to go. Fire. No, but no. Blaze but for, fire by I mean, JPS right now. Right? <laughs> no, blaze fire now. Blaze the fire by JPS. But like, we really, you know, like, I love my people and I want, I mean, we love our people mm -hmm. and we want our people to prosper and mm -hmm. to like have. But the only know, way we're going to prosper, Stacey, is if we start supporting each other. Right. Educating each other, uplifting each other. It starts with the economy. If we don't, if we are not looking just like the Chinese and the Indians and the Jews, they look after each other within their economy. Yep, exactly. That's within how, their communities. That's the only that's way. That's what we need to that's do. That's the only way it's going to move forward. Exactly. For and us. that's what I was saying. Yeah. That's what we need to that's do. That's the only way that's it's going to move to do. forward for us. So this shaking up our body now in our, in our place and them things, only feel. Chill out, man. <laughs> do that after we get the big. Do that after we get the big fat, you know, trillion dollar check them for each of our community, for our communities or whatever for build build up our communities and our people. <laughs> uh, all right, I so <laughs> Stacy is fire. Anyway.
<laughs> Stace, thank you so much for coming uh, you're in. You're welcome. Thank, thank you thank so you. much for coming in. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for having me. All right, me. guys, this is Reasoning Without <laughs> Alcohol, because it's early in the morning that we did this. Reasonings with Odessa. And I shall tell, because <laughs> me not drink, I shouldn't show upset to me. <laughs> We're gonna drink later anyway. We're gonna we're gonna have these afternoon cocktails now. We're gonna have afternoon cocktails. <laughs> Reasons with Odessa with Stacy McKenzie. We out. Peace. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at OAccess Jamaica.